Magician, you have surely seen the astral obelisks in three points. These are sacred to the moon, the stars, and the sun. Long ago, the wisest mystics of Azteca divined the secrets of astral magic. They placed the teachings into the obelisks. To learn more about those ancient schools of magic, speak to Tesca Three Star. He is our current expert on astral magic. Greetings, magician. Have you been stargazing of late? Though they have been dormant for years, I believe that power still slumbers within the three astral school obelisks. The star school obelisk was the last to dwindle and go silent, and should be the easiest to revive. Spellbinders of old would wake the star obelisk by scattering stardust upon it. That might still work. The last measure of stardust was buried with the last of the star mystics deep within the cenote. Go to the cenote and seek out the glimmering chamber. With luck, one mighty black sky has not yet risen from his death sleep. Dreamless death sleep has ended. You will now witness the fall of nightmare. You find a pouch full of glimmering stardust dropped by Wanadi Black Sky. Time to leave this place. Motes of shimmering stardust surround you. Take it to three points and scatter it quickly before the Star School Obelisk. You scatter the stardust before the Star Obelisk. It permeates the stone and you sense magical power growing within it. You have done well. Now, learn from the Star Obelisk. It has much to teach. Akal Redmask tells me he will study the Sun Obelisk and see what can be done. He will call to you when the time is come.